what you're seeing today is a 7x12, 6 foot 6 interior height, deep south cargo trailer toy hauler conversion. The trailer has a 3,500 pound brake axle under it. Color is silver with a great deal of diamond plate trim which dresses it up and makes it not look like every other silver cargo trailer going down the road. If we come around to the driver's side, you're going to notice the 110 volt shore power connection and the air conditioner exhaust grill. The trailer has the Jeep style fenders, the silver mod rims, and each side of the trailer has a 14 by 21 tempered glass safety window in it. The ramp is a double bar lock ramp with diamond plate trim. And y'all are going to have to excuse the noise in the background, but this is a working trailer lot. As we come around to the passenger side, you will see the other window. And we'll come on down and the side entry door. The ramp and the garage area floor is covered with a rubber diamond plate floor material water resistant, oil and gas resistant, and there is double E-Track in there to secure your toys. As you look in, you'll see fold up beds on each side and forward up into the kitchen area. There's a pair of fold down twin beds that with a, a topper will actually make a king size bed. They're very simple to fold down and fold up out of the way. To fold the bed down, you start by flipping up the legs, which have locking hinges on them so they're very secure, and you release the latch. Once you release the latch, you simply lower the bed to the floor, the legs support it, and it's capable of supporting a 450 pound adult. You'll notice that both beds fold down and there is enough room to squeeze your way out if you need to get out from between them at night put the beds back up, you simply raise the bed, attach the latch, and flip down the legs. On the roof of the trailer there's a 250 watt solar panel and that solar panel is powering two 95 amp hour AGM batteries. There's a 30 amp MPPT charge controller that feeds the batteries and keeps the charge up on them. We put the solar panel on strictly to run the refrigerator, which is a 2.4 cubic foot household refrigerator, but it's actually as if not more efficient than the more expensive 12 volt refrigerators. The refrigerator can run on solar or shore power. On the side of the refrigerator cabinet, you will see a switch here. The center position of the switch is neutral. Switch it up and the fridge is running off the of solar. You may have been able to hear the fridge start up when I turned it on. To go to shore power, you would go back into the neutral position and then bring it down. And then you would be running on 120 volt shore power. The interior lights are also running off the batteries. They're 12 volt LED. Between the two lights, they draw just about two amps an hour, which is pretty minuscule. And the lights are controlled by an on-off switch on the wall so you don't have to get up in the dark and reach for a light switch. The kitchen area has 210 volt outlets above the countertop, which is a good size countertop for a small trailer. There's an RV sink and an RV hand pump. Fresh water is kept in the 7 gallon tank at the rear that has the clear tube in it. The front tank is a 7 gallon gray water drain tank. When the tank gets full, simply take it outside and empty it. There's ample storage underneath the countertop. The black case is a single burner propane stove that comes with the trailer. You can cook inside or outside with it. And then on the left side of the sink area, there is a storage cabinet. And at the rear of the storage cabinet is the 110 volt breaker box. 
the countertop above the breaker box lifts up for additional access to the breaker box. The air conditioner is an 8000 BTU air conditioner. It will keep the trailer at a brisk 70 degrees on a 100 degree day with 90% humidity. The fresh air intake comes from underneath the trailer, the hot air exhausts out the sidewall of the trailer, and there is a drain tube that runs down through the floor of the trailer and allows the condensation to drip under the trailer safely away from the trailer interior. In the cabinet under the air conditioner is a porta potty. Don't think I really need to explain what the porta potty is for. The floor of the kitchen area is waterproof vinyl plank flooring. We didn't want to run the diamond plate rubber all the way up front. We wanted to make the kitchen area feel a little bit more home-like, if you will. And last but not least, the interior door latch is a simple barrel bolt. All you do is pull the door closed, slide the bolt over, it latches the door from the inside so it can't be opened from the outside, and you're safe and secure inside. And the final note on the trailer is that the walls and ceiling are insulated with one inch polyisocyanurate foam board insulation. It gives an R6 value and it helps keep the trailer comfortable even on a warm day without the air conditioner running. Of course the air conditioner running keeps it more than comfortable, it keeps it really really nice.